I grew up in Bangalore, India, and I definitely had a very rough time at school. One of the reasons why I did not pursue uh, a, um, a formal education. And it was primarily because I just didn't fit in. And every time I tried to be myself, I had people jumping at me just to make fun of me. So when I went to high school, my seniors came to me and said, I heard you're a cartoonist. Um, I'm going to um, meet me tomorrow. Uh, meet me tomorrow outside because I've got a job for you. And they were bullying me. There was like this gang that came to me and said, oh, you're a cool dude artist, right? I've got some work for you. Meet me outside. Like, okay, fine. I went and met them outside. I was alone. And it was a gang of them. And they were like, so I heard you're a brilliant artist. Can you try and create a... They came up with some random situation. But then I turned to them and said, oh, sure, I'll do it. You just define the scope of work and I'll create an invoice on your name and then you can mail it to my, my thing. And, I, and, and, then I, and they were just stumped. They didn't know what to say. They thought they were just bullying me. And I was like, sure, just send it across. I use reverse psychology. I'm, literally, you can't fool me. I'm too dumb. So I just pretend that I don't know you're bullying me and I just go along with it and then they don't know what to do.